This is big, breaking, emergency news. China is planning something big. Something big is going on. China has now issued an emergency travel alert to their citizens to not go to the United States, to be very careful in the United States, and to also to not talk to law enforcement and to avoid law enforcement inside the United States. That is what China just warned their citizens. And this could be the signal being sent out. This could be the signal we've been waiting for. And this is big. This is big that they've issued this warning. And why would they issue a warning for something going on inside the United States for Chinese citizens? Do they know something is going to happen preemptively? And they're also warning them to avoid law enforcement. And they're saying that to be prepared for unforeseen events. They're saying something out of the ordinary could happen. So you need to be getting prepared. This is a big warning, a big travel alert that's been issued. And there could potentially be intelligence of something going on. And this could be the call to activation potentially. All right. So let's dive into this news here. All right. Really quick. Please hit that like. Hit that subscribe for me. All right. I'm posting multiple videos a day keeping you guys updated on this big urgent news so let's dive into this travel warning that was just issued check this out it says china issues travel warning for the u.s it says china's ministry of foreign affairs on march 29th warned citizens of challenging travel conditions to the u.s due to a spike in cases where chinese students and company employees were subjected to quote unwarranted interrogation and harassment by u.s law enforcement officers all right and they're saying china's travel advisory for citizens entering the u.s urges safety precautions and preparations for quote various unexpected situations detailed a south china morning post news report all right so they're saying that do not talk to law enforcement inside the u.s and they're using this situation to say hey just don't talk to them don't talk to U.S. law enforcement because they're targeting you. And then they're also saying that they need to have safety precautions and preparations for, quote, various unexpected situations. What does that mean? What does that mean? All right. So this is big that China is issuing this alert. And this could mean that there's some kind of preemptive knowledge. And this could be the call for something to potentially happen because look at this right this is what just happened a few days ago this is being reported by u.s border patrol chief patrol agent gregory k bovino he said border patrol agents responded to a call from the marine corp base about a chinese national who entered the base without authorization ignoring orders to leave subject was confirmed to be in the country illegally his purpose and intent behind his actions are still being investigated, right? This was just a few days ago on March 29th, the same day that this travel advisory was issued, all right? This guy stormed a Marine Corps base and he refused to leave, ignoring orders to leave. And he's in the country illegally, refusing to leave. And he's not telling anyone what he's doing. This could have been a dry run to see a response, to see what's going to happen if a U.S. military base is stormed or subjected to some kind of attack, see how long it takes to respond. All right, so this happened on the same day that China issued this travel alert. Very suspicious. Not saying it was something, but it seems like it's something. It seems like it could be connected. All right, so that could have been a dry run. And we could see something bigger. The U.S. is wide open. The United States is wide open. And it's a major national security risk for our country every single day that goes by. You can see here, all right, this is what's also happening at our border and in our country. It says we're less than halfway into fiscal year 2024. And the number of people on the terror watch list arrested at the border is more than fiscal year 2017 to 2021 combined so more than four years combined 
says regardless of what Biden says, the national security threat from his open border is real and a growing threat. That's what Dr. Roger Marshall has said, all right? And he's actually a U.S. representative. He's a government representative. And you can see here, right? Just in fiscal year 24, 69 people have been arrested in only five months that are on the FBI terror watch list. But from 2017 to 2021, there were only 26 people total for four whole years. So something's happening. Something different is happening. And our country is at a much higher risk. And this is just the amount of people that have been caught. All right. So the amount of people that slip through the cracks and are, quote, gotaways is who knows, 10 hundreds of times higher than this number of people that we don't even know who they are. They just crossed and they were never processed because if somebody knows they're potentially on this watch list, they probably don't want to be processed by Border Patrol if they are smart. They're probably going to avoid law enforcement. So, or at least have fake identities, things along these lines, so they don't show up in these databases and that's another major issue is that there's mass abandonments of ids at the border people carry their ids all the way through all these other countries and then they get to the u.s border and they dump them and there's reporters finding hundreds of them every single day at the border of people's ids that they've just dumped because they know that their identity would be a red flag it would show up in some kind of database or something. Why would you dump your identity and all your records for everything? How do you even go back to your country now? Anything. Now nobody knows who you are anywhere. And it's a. it doesn't make sense. The only people that would do that is somebody that has something major to lose. right? They have something to lose if they're figured out who their identity is. They know they're going to be shown up and it's going to be a red flag. And just a quick update, too, of what's going on. The reason why this crisis has gotten so bad is that things like this are happening. Look at this. This is insane, this headline, all right? El Paso judge orders the release of, quote, migrants accused of border riots, all right? So do you remember that video is everywhere I posted on here a week or two ago now where the National Guard was bum-rushed, overwhelmed. They knocked them over. They took out the fence, everything. All right, do you remember that? And now these people were arrested for assaulting soldiers, National Guard members, okay? And now a judge is ordering them to be released, to be released. Why would they be released after they assaulted a national guard member and the scene was chaos people were screaming they were running up there was two fences and they ran up to the second fence and were banging on it rushing the other fence screaming banging on it these are all military age men and they're trampling on top of our national guard troops that are defending our border in our country so if we have troops on the border and they can't even stop this then who can stop this Who's in charge right now? Who can actually stop this if having the National Guard there can't even stop it? And then it's, there's no law and order. There's not even any justice for the troops. They're pretty much saying that they don't, they're not going to back up the troops and support them, even if they're assaulted and trampled on. So what does that do for morale? Why would they even want to defend this when... They're just, they just get trampled on. They're just ragdolls for this. It's insane. It's completely backwards. And I really hope that something changes soon, right? So get prepared now, guys. China has issued this travel warning. And they're saying be prepared for, quote, various unexpected situations. So you need to be prepared for it, too. You need to be stocked up. Safety precautions. Right, you need to be out of these big cities, you need to be on high alert, head on a swivel, have be looking around, all right, figuring out the situation, have situational awareness 
of your surroundings because that's one of the most important things is to see something before it's even happening and start reacting before them and have plans in your head all right that looks like something that can maybe be something and have a scenario in your head that you can respond to all right that's what prepping and being prepared for is all about all right so watch out we could see something big happen in the u.s and we could even see a response right and today too this just happened today there was a major military attack on a iranian embassy from israel you can see here it says iran says israel bombs its embassy in syria and kills top iranian commander all right so this just happened this was in damascus and the reason why this matters is because our border is wide open and when these conflicts overseas bubble up we now could see potential consequences inside the u.s from things that are going on overseas we could see retaliations we could see responses because we are wide open we do not know who is in our country you can bet almost a million dollars that iran at least has sent spies military units over here bare minimum for reconnaissance to see what's going on to scope things out for data mapping for all, all these things you can bare minimum they're at least doing things like that every country on earth is right now the united states is wide open bare minimum much less if there's any type of plans for an attack or a retaliation or there's just some kind of organic retaliation from some kind of group that's here that's been allowed to slip through the cracks all right we've seen these warnings over and over from top officials they know what's going on there's no way that they can feign ignorance on this issue they know what's happening and when we see these escalations overseas it can now affect us so make sure you guys are getting prepared all right get your gas tanks filled up your water tanks filled up we could see a big cyber attack as well all right iran has high cyber capabilities so does china all right i've been warning warning after warning how the government's saying china's going to do a big cyber attack they're going to do something big this could potentially be what they are alluding to and what they are warning of so make sure you guys are ready have your stuff filled up have your prepper pantry stocked up and if you can go next level try to get a garden going try to grow some microgreens try to pop some seeds in a seed tray just get these skills under your belt you can anywhere you live you can have a seed tray that you can put near a window and try to pop some seeds and get that skill and know how to grow seeds grow plants from seeds even if you can't grow them out now you have the skill you know how to do it in case you need it so thank you guys i hope you have big blessings for your life and your family and i hope you have a big old blessed day